Nurse. 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 Nurse
for the 2013 Nurses Ball. And, and you all want to hear a little bit of it? Yeah. Yes. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll give you a little taste and we can do a little movement because it's a wrap and it is sexy. <laughs> Put that on. You all ready, guys? Okay, get down here and just start right here. Oh, yeah. Can you go down? Look, 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 there's a croissant on the floor. Yeah, inside. Come on, move it all. Oh, yeah. Now, wait. Uh huh. And one, and two, and three. Do you really think he wrote this? Sounds really early 80s. And hold. Yeah, say yeah. Yeah. Say it like you mean it. What is it? Yeah. One more. And then we got to stir. You want to stir? How about stirring some trouble? Here we go. Yeah, why is that familiar? Oh, ask her if it's funny. So Luke and Laura sure. had to hit the road. They had to find the left-handed boy. Watch their step. They had to be cool. Right here. Where are you going? I was supposed to go now. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we're with me. Wait, the Monica in the song couldn't be. Oh, yes, it could. Alan was the father, of course, and he won't give Monica a divorce. Rick wants to get Leslie back. Heather's having an insane attack. Now, that is one long, insane attack. Hey, 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 hey. What's the problem? Why don't you turn my music off? Because we cannot use your song. <sighs> Missy, my song is poetry. Do you hear me? It's poetry. I wrote it. And it's got a great, sexy 80s theme, and it's the truth. What is the problem with you? I'll tell you the problem. It's flaunting all our town's secrets. Your town's stupid secrets? Secrets are something you're embarrassed about and you don't know about it. This is the truth, and everyone knows about it. I didn't know. Well, this happens to be embarrassing, especially to our chief of staff, Monica Quartermain. Who cares about her? Monica Quartermain, among others, is going to come after me and wring my neck. So, who cares about her? Who cares? I do, because your song is tasteless gossip. Old, old gossip from 30 years ago. You know, it's dirty laundry. In fact, it's not just dirty laundry. It's old, dirty laundry. And we're not going to use it unless we change your lyrics. My lyrics and my songs stay exactly as they are. No, they don't. If Bobby Spencer was here, my friend Bobby Spencer, everything would be different. And they'd play that song. Well, Bobby Spencer never, ever, 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 ever ran this nurse's ball. Nor will she ever, because this is my show, and I'm going to do it my way with a lot of class and dignity. I got to meet the head nurse. That would be me. Do me a favor. Remove this little tart with whipped cream. Get her out of my life because I am doing the song that I want to do. Okay, Curly Top, you gotta pipe down, all right? I'm with the tart. Oh, thank you very much. D did you just call me a tart? I'm just saying I'm not going to fall on my sword over an admittedly catchy song okay. that's gonna no. piss everybody off. Stop, 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 people. We gotta calm down, calm down. Let's vote, okay? Please, let's vote with applause. Everybody, everybody who likes the song, do you like the music? At least clap. Applause. Okay, okay, fine. Then we stick with the music and we change the lyrics. I am not changing one word, one syllable, or one beat of that song. And I hope everyone knows that. You're going to play this song exactly like I wrote it. Or you're going to have to get a new song 
and you're gonna have to get a new choreographer. Oh my God, this cannot be happening. Let's not lose our heads over this. <laughs> How are you, little girl? I'm Nurse Sabrina Santiago. And Nurse Sabrina Santiago had a dream. And her dream was to revive the nurse's ball. So everybody, let's hear it. Let's get some applause going. Come on. Yay. Thank you. Yay, yay, yay. And are we going to let this, I don't know what, ruin her dream? No. Yeah. OK, no one's dream is getting destroyed. We just need to find a compromise. I don't compromise my art and my song, OK? Art? What, what art would that be? OK, Lucy, Mr. S, maybe there's a way we can edit the songs without sacrificing its, uh, its integrity? It doesn't, that, that song does not have any integrity. Admit it, no integrity. But it was entertaining and informative. OK, great. So you think that song's going to raise us a bunch of money for charity? It won't. No one will give any money. We're going to have to have another ball just to raise money for our legal defense fund. Listen to me. The song is out. If the song is out, you're going to have to dance alone. Because I am taking my music and my choreography with me. It's been a lovely, lovely time. <laughs> Goodbye, poor Charles. Oh. Goodbye, Milo. Now what are we going to do? Uh, we are going to go onward and upward. Come on, you guys. I am so sorry that happened. Let's just, let's get back to work, shall we? Chop, chop. Come on. Come on. Wait, who's going to choreograph this thing now? And what are they going to choreograph it to? We have no opening number. Oh, poo, poo. That's just a minor detail. That's not so minor. Who can write and choreograph? a musical number for 12 medical professionals on such short notice. OK, you know what? I, I think I need to explain the theater to all of you. The natural condition of the theater is an imminent obstacle in an insurmountable road going down, basically a road to death. But somehow, strangely, it all works out. And how in the hell does it do that? I have no idea. It's a mystery. But listen, guys, the show must go on. The gods of theater will provide. Come on! <laughs> We are so toast. Oh, God, what a disaster. I feel bad for Lucy. Come on. Man, poor Sabrina. All she wanted was for this to be nice and amazing. What's up, man? Did you ask her to the ball? Or she asked me. I know, I'm as shocked as you are. In fact, I thought she might be on someone else. I feel you, man. So I went to the guy and I said, hey, I'll step to the side. Why would you do that? I don't know. Just trying to be a nice guy, I guess. Look, let me tell you something, man. If you like this girl, yeah. you got to man up, right? Because let me tell you, nice guys always finish last. Just in case the theater gods aren't feeling benevolent, what are we going to do about an opening number? Well, guys, Molly is a writer. She can write the song. TJ, seriously, Molly, do you think you can write an opening number? Then no, Molly is the best-selling author of Love and Maine. <laughs> Which is a novel. That, that doesn't mean I can write a song. No, of course you can. My sister is a genius. Ooh, uh, OK, but what about, like, the music? You, you can't have a song without music. Uh -huh. Even off the there. I can put something together on my laptop in, like, five minutes. Don't worry. Molly, do you really think you can write an opening song? I could try to write the lyrics. OK, OK. That, that is perfect. Now we just need the music. Oh, I'll come up with something on my computer. I write music, you know, and I DJ school dances. Oh, OK. Problem solved. Let's do it. Yay. <laughs> All right, well, that takes care of the song, but we still need to find a choreographer. Um, maybe I can help. <laughs> 